In this session, we are going to talk about sampling. Now that we know that we've got a questionnaire and we are going to use a particular questionnaire to collect our data on different variables. Now, how do we collect the data? This is an important question. You cannot just go out and do it on your own. There has to be a procedure to collect the data. Now, why sampling? Why do you want to sample and what is sampling? Sampling is drawing out a subset from the whole population. Let's consider this is your population. So all these are elements. So what is an element? A unit in a population is called element. Now you cannot study the whole population. For example, I'm interested in studying students. So students can be anywhere. I cannot study students anywhere. Why? Because it's going to cost me time, money, and obviously I do not have access to them. So that's the reason I cannot go on and collect data from every kind of student. So I have to have my target population. And so let's say my target population is university students. Now again, let's say university students in Pakistan. So again, university students in Pakistan is again very difficult to do. So what I do is from my target population, I draw out a sample and a sample is subset of the population. Now, how do you draw out that subset? That process is called sampling. Now, before that, we have to explain a few basic concepts. Now that we know, okay, what is population? We know what is sampling and as process of sampling, we get our sample and element. So this is your element. A unit in the population is called an element. Now, when you draw, when you draw out a sample, let's say this is your sample here. Let's say this is your sample. Now this becomes your subject one that is being studied. So a unit of the sample is your subject. You get sample through the process of sampling. And what are the different sampling techniques? We are going to talk about it later. And then what is element? Unit of your population. So these are important terminologies that one should understand before understanding the process of sampling because we are going to discuss this in greater detail. Now before we move on, let's first understand a few things. Sampling. Now there are two different ways. You can have probability sampling. And then you can have non-probability sampling. Now, what do you mean by probability? Probability means chance. Non-probability, no chance. Now, in probability sampling, there is a certain amount of chance associated with every element in population to be selected as subject. Now here, there is a certain amount of chance. Well, there, if you select or use non-probability sampling techniques, you will have no chance. That is, you cannot associate a chance with every element. Now, if you cannot associate a chance with every element, this is non-probability sampling. So there are different non-probability sampling techniques and there are different probability sampling techniques. 
In the next session, we are going to look into some basic probability sampling techniques. Thank you very much.